Hey everyone, you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77RC. When we come back, I got the E Sheen. This is the E38, right after this. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Donnie here, and thanks for joining me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77RC. Hey, I'm with the E Sheen E38. Uh, this one here is uh, not a GPS drone, but this one is uh, optical flow, so it does have a, a camera uh, sensor on the bottom. Uh, plus two, this one has a uh, 720p camera in the front. The box says uh, 1080p, you also can get it in 4K, but on my box, I noticed uh, on the front says uh, it says 1080p camera. But when I looked at where the box is marked on this one, mine is marked only 720p, and there is the black version I got, and there's a white version, which I believe on the side here shows you uh, the two different colored ones there. So uh, I do have the 720p camera system on this, which I don't expect it to be too much, you guys. This is just going to be basically uh, just a little flyer here, definitely good for beginners. Uh, but we'll find that out once we... Uh, get it out there for a flight um, on here I noticed uh, I was looking for the optical flow camera and it is really hard to tell where it's at until you look up closely here and it is a little pinhole camera you guys it is a camera so uh, that's probably one of the smallest optical flow cameras I've seen in a long time they're usually a little bit bigger um, you know hair smaller than the power button here but that is the power button uh, a good thing is that it does have a built-in uh, DVR so you can put a memory card in here I suggest a class uh, 10 and I would only go probably with this one 32 gigabytes you guys uh, I think anything bigger like that I don't think it's gonna be able to record or it may uh, be corrupt or show error but I, I'll have to look in the uh, instructions. I'm just opening it for the first time, taking a look at it at the same time with you guys. So uh, you do get two batteries. They're 3.7 volts, 1600 milliamps. So you're supposed to be getting a decent flight with this one. We'll have to check and see how that goes. You can see it has the micro uh, C uh, port there for micro C charger, which they supply that for you. I'm sure it's in the bag here. Yes, there it is. You got some caps that go on the top here, and you do only get two sets of propeller, A and B propeller, and a little uh, Phillips screwdriver in there so you can take those propellers off. And that's basically it, just a basic package. You do have uh, propeller guards, and I'll show you how to put those on really quick here. Pull off this dust cover here and I will probably keep those off just to get a little extra venting in there uh, since it's been pretty hot here in California so that way uh, keep those brushed motors uh, nice and cool it is brushed motors and not brushed list so uh, this just slides on here um, you're gonna have to kind of tilt it down a little here let me see if I can get in the little more light here you have to kind of tilt it down a little to get these to go in here because the plastic the lips kind of bent down a little bit on here so it's going to be kind of uh, hard to kind of get it in there because it, it tries to hang up a little here so let me see if i can get it there we go all right that's how the prop guards go on and they're just there should just be pull pull off so um i don't see no button here so it just pops off you guys so i will keep those off uh for now but uh, I go ahead and peel this off. But they put a little protective tape on here, a little cover there. Let's take a look at the controller here. The controller, I've got another little piece of tape on here to protect from scratching. Let me pull that off. There's your phone holder there. All right, get that off of there. There's your phone holder and I don't think it's gonna fit my phone, but I'll probably have to take my cover off my iPhone But I'll give it a shot if not I'll at least start the video and set my phone off the side or in my pocket uh, I don't I'm not sure if that's gonna fit in there or not, but I guess that's as far as it goes Okay, got your power button here guys um, I did put some batteries in it right when I 
boxed it and set it down here. It does take uh, three double A's. I got some cheapies in there for now for the review. And you'll have to put the set screw back in there and screw it back down. But since it has a clip on here, just push down and pull down on this clip a little bit so it don't open up. Then you can leave that screw out of there. You won't need it. Uh, so anyways, you got your toggle switches, um, which ain't too bad. If you're a pincher, you can still fly with it, but they're not very long, you guys. Um, I use my thumbs, so it should be all right. Uh, you have your uh, 3D flip here. This one's one key takeoff, one key land. Uh, you have your uh, uh, speed rates right here. This is headless mode. And on this one key takeoff, one key land, I believe you hold that for about three seconds and that's emergency shut off. So do be careful if you have the drone up flying and you hold that too long, it will just drop out of the sky wherever it's at. It'll cut the motors off. So that's just in case, you know, uh, you have to use it, guys. So. Uh, these are just your trim buttons here, this little uh, pad here. So that's for your trim, left, right, forward, and back. And uh, you got your one key uh, return as well. And uh, let me see which one that is. It's on the, one of the same buttons. Here's the manual. It's in different languages, but if you uh, speak English, it's going to be uh, the first few pages. And it also tells you... Uh, uh, the Wi-Fi FPV you're going to be using and it's Isheen FPV or you can just go and do the QR code and scan it on your phone or tablet but uh, we'll test that out when we get out there so yeah you got headless mode so long press is one key return you guys so um, on the headless mode here you'll press it once just short press put in headless mode Press it again and it'll shut off headless mode. If you hold it for a few seconds, then it's gonna do one key return. Since this is not GPS, you will have to have the back facing towards you. And if you hit that one key return, it should tilt the drone back and come back towards you. So if you're at this angle and you hit that return to home button, it's gonna go whichever way the drone is facing the back end is going to go that way so uh, if you want to try to get it to work you're gonna to have to have the back end towards you you guys but we'll, we'll we will definitely be testing that out in the flight uh, the camera is just a little pinhole camera so nothing too big I'm not expecting too much they also give you uh, letting you know that it is 720p so uh, that box is probably used for every model so I'm not too sure how well the 4k uh, model works. It's probably like that LED drone. If you guys follow my channel, I have that LED um, drone that uh, has that 4K camera. Uh, it's actually 4K, but it's not like true 4K, you guys. You know, so, um, but like I said, this one's only 720p, so I can't expect too much from it. And I'm sure the Wi Fi FPV is going to have a breakup because it is not 5g wi-fi it is only uh 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi system so i'm sure that we're going to have some interference especially in my area i'm going to do the flight test here at our apartments right now because the parks uh, are still closed off and then you know there's a lot of stuff going on uh outside and we just kind of don't want to be out at the moment since there's been uh there's been some uh cases of uh uh, looting and rioting going on in here in California so I'm just gonna stay home do this out here in the parking lot uh, for the flight but uh, we'll have to test that out and see what happens uh, but I am in a high Wi-Fi area is what I was trying to mention and it may cause interference for the Wi-Fi FPV so uh, they do give you a little startup uh, kit here uh, that comes on the controller so it's letting you know how to calibrate the gyros so uh, once you turn on the drone, what you'll be holding, go ahead and slide this battery in. I did charge up the battery. Um, you'll just hold, press that just one second, it lights up. You'll turn on the button by pressing down, it locks in, and it automatically links you guys. So you don't have to go up, down, or anything. It automatically links with the controller, okay? Um, so to calibrate it, you're just going to go and take the two sticks and go to the bottom right-hand corner. So 
and that's uh, that's a gyro calibration so it's letting it's letting the drone know that it's on a level surface and ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that back off uh, that's basically it you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this uh, out for a flight looks like you have to hold that for a few seconds to shut the drone back off but okay let's go ahead and take this for a flight and see how it does all right so I'm out here in the driveway at the apartments because I'm not too sure if our parks are open. I know the playgrounds are still shut down, but there is tons of people out there laying on the grass and I guess having picnics or something. So I'm unable to fly any drones there still. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and take this E38 uh, uh, for a flight, but I'm going to have to leave my phone sitting here on this bench because uh, it doesn't fit in the phone holder. Phone holder is super small, you guys. So even if I took the cover off, it wouldn't fit in there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing set up I'll get this guy turned on I got a 32 gigabyte memory card class 10 in there I'm gonna get this thing all bound which it just did staying lit up I'm gonna go ahead and search for the Wi-Fi FPV on here and let's see what we got here see if it picked it up there it is wi-fi 720p uh, that would be this one since it's not the 4k or the 1080p uh, drone so we're connected there let me go ahead and uh, get the eSheen uh, fpv there it is i have uh, airplane mode on that way my phone isn't interrupted by any uh, apps and there's my stomach there all right guys so we do have wi-fi and of course it's going to be a lot of hesitation but i'm going to go ahead and set this down and uh, i'll start the record here in a second and get this guy down here all right and i'm going to go ahead and uh, calibrate the drone here and i believe it's bottom there we go bottom right hand corners just flash it's all calibrated speed control here there's one two okay so only two speeds i'm going to start off in uh rate two because it's windy i know you guys can't see it in the trees but it is a bit windy once i get up uh, past this fence line so let me go ahead and start the recording here i'm going to start it see if it'll start from the controller i'll hold that says it's recording it's flashing just shows that it's recording here on the screen you guys i'm not going to do a screen recorder on my phone we're going to just hopefully hope that uh, sd card uh, picks up on there all right so i'm going to go ahead and uh, fire this thing up uh, one key takeoff here there we go it's just altitude hold with a it's got a barometer in there a little camera but the camera doesn't look that great you guys uh that's weird my controller's stuck well that's not good let me take this guy back down real quick some reason the controller is stuck in the up position there it goes i had to fix it a little bit but yeah the controller's a little messed up here guys all right so it is going to let me turn okay so far the controller's uh up position is uh stuck here i gotta really push up really hard see it's barely going up all right that's not good so i'll just go ahead and take it for a little flight here i'm in second rate so far not too bad let's go up a little bit it's only uh 80 to 100 meters it says but uh yeah i can't even go i can't go up it's not wanting to go up see i got the it is not working on that part oh that's not good well you guys i thought this was going to be a little bitter i got to keep pressing up really hard for it to go up a little bit see it just jets up a hair so let's see if we could see at least a freeway from there so you guys can see the freeway um i'm not up high enough so I just want to kind of check out the Wi-Fi and see if it's hesitating at all. 
Uh, actually, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad, you guys. A little bit of hesitation, but that's normal with 2.4 gigahertz. And plus two, I'm in a high uh, Wi-Fi hotspot area here. See if I can go up a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. It's not, it is not kind of, uh, I'm having problems with the controller, guys. Something's wrong with the controller. The up position's messed up, guys. So uh, for now, I can't recommend this drone right now due to that. So maybe it got damaged during uh, shipping. Um, controller could just be damaged from manufacturer. I don't know. The down button's working great. Let's see if we can get this thing to flip. Yeah, it does flip. Flips work. Let's try forward. All right. Let's try it to the right. Let me get this thing straightened out. Now the wind gust is coming right now. All right, let's try backwards. Okay, backwards is working. Now to the left and then to the right. Okay, that is working. Wind gust is starting to take it up a bit here. Yeah, that's a bummer. I, I can't believe that the the up part of the controller is messed up. I never even noticed that. You can see it's it's on the up position here. See that? It's pointed up. So I really have to keep going and pressing it a few times to try to get it to go up, see? I gotta keep doing this to try to get it to go up. That's not good. Well, I got a, I got a faulty controller, you guys, so not going to go much further with this uh, review now so what a bummer i've had this thing for a few months now with the with the virus pandemic going on i uh, wasn't able to go and get this in any flights in uh, because i like to be in a bigger uh, area like the park and all that stuff um, i don't like flying in this small confined spot right here you can see i got trees i got cars that come in and out there's someone moving right now so you know i can never really you know get a proper review so i can't go too far because this thing doesn't bank super fast you can see so if i get down there and i get a little too fast and i try to turn i can hit a into one of someone's uh one of these people's vehicles so yeah that's it up oh, it's going down i don't know what's going on with it well what a bummer you guys man i was looking forward to flying this for a few months now and thought you know it was going to actually be decent but uh so far it's a no-go for me it flies nice if the controller was working right something happened i don't know why that uh, stick i'm gonna have to open it up which you shouldn't have to so if you did order one of these it's like that then i would suggest to return it but this one i got from amazon this is from banggood amazon you guys so it didn't come from the actual uh, banggood company uh out of china it came from amazon uh, usa so um i'm gonna have to talk to them and see if they can't get another one sent out uh so i could do a proper uh, review on this but uh you know so far i never even noticed that controller was messed up like that so i'm gonna take a look at it guys and if i can get it working better let me shut off this uh filming so i don't lose the film hold that down at least before i go i'm gonna go and see how it flies with the virtual sticks since the controller is having problems so i put it at a hundred percent um i'm going to calibrate it which uh, i'm going to find out where calibrate is that's voice command i'm not going to do that so let's go in here see if i could find the calibration button gotta be here somewhere so let me just try bottom corner and see if that does that now it's got to be here in the settings somewhere Let's see if i can find it here those are the flight path okay that's not it and let me look here no oh, that's just display that is gyro so you can flight with the gyro here all right let me just take it up and see how close it is right now so let me go ahead and uh see if i could do a takeoff here okay there we go yeah it flies good when you can 
you can actually bring the sticks up not too bad i wish i had more room i don't like flying <laughs> so it does lift up once you uh actually ah, it's hanging up a little there we go but yeah it'll lift up once you uh use the virtual sticks on the phone which i really don't like doing that especially when it's windy because i'm not good at these virtual sticks i always go past uh you know the point on here and then <laughs> and end up losing this thing but uh at least you know the up does work when you're using the virtual sticks so you can see so it does uh once once i could get maybe another controller sent to me you guys then i can uh i could do a proper review because it actually is a good flyer it's not bad at all especially for beginners it's not too bad you know this is the virtual sticks right now but you can see it raises up just fine. Um, I gotta have them send me another controller. So let me bring it back to me here. All right. Okay, and let me land this guy. All right, so the virtual sticks do work. So it's just a controller. It's a good flyer. So, um, like I said, I'll try to have them send me another controller or uh, they may have to just send me the whole thing. That way I could get a proper review, you guys, because uh, it seems like it's going to be decent if the, the stick wasn't messed up on the, on the controller. So, you know, hopefully they can send me one that's uh, not messed up or I'll try to open it up uh, tonight and take a peek in there. Maybe something's just stuck in there or just off track. But uh, anyways, guys, I uh, sure appreciate you watching. Um, until further notice it's a good flyer but i have a faulty controller you guys so definitely gonna have to look into that i just appreciate you guys watching uh try to stay indoors if you can like always guys i did fix this thing you guys i just wanted to show you that there was just something loose inside here so it should just fire right up now there we go see it goes right up now you guys see uh down with no problem at all so it does fly fine so i fixed it it does fly no problem at all there you go guys just a loose connection just happened to have a loose connection here so it does fly i didn't bring my action camera out because i was just testing this but as you can see it does go up and down with no problem at all and it does fly really nice so Hopefully uh, this was just one out of uh, the thousands that are made that just had something loose in there and I just went inside and uh, took this controller apart and then uh, there was something, something in here was kind of bent. I just bent the, this little uh, piece of metal back and, and it ends up uh, working just fine again. See, lifts up with no problem at all. All right, you guys, just wanted to show you that before I go. And hopefully, like I said, it was just one out of, you know, the thousand they made that end up having just something wrong in there. But hopefully the rest of them, there should be no problem at all. It's just you always get one out of the bunch that may have a problem. And I end up having one with the controller, but I fixed it. So it does work fine, you guys. So I just appreciate you guys watching. Uh, try to stay indoors if you can. Like always, guys, God bless. Cheers and happy flying.